Hello everyone, Victor Tay from the Church in Punchbowl. I was pretty surprised that Verity Baptist Church released these comments from Roger Jimenez as its own two-minute soundbite, uh, two soundbite, because I think the clip is very telling about the type of Christians being created by the new IFB movement. I mean, I, I, feel like, I feel like we've produced a lot of arrogant jerks in this movement. And you know, it's one thing for those in opposition to the new IFB to say that it's a movement full of arrogant jerks. And it's an entirely different thing for someone who I would consider kind of uh, second in charge, if you will, or second in command of that movement, to admit that it's creating what is basically a bunch of carnal babes in Christ. Um, because, what, because what prevents someone from being a jerk to another person? It's something called charity. Think about this. These people aren't learning to call people, you know, faggots, sissies, retards, and pieces of crap from reading their Bibles and striving to be more like Jesus Christ. They are learning this from the example they are seeing and hearing from the preachers in the new IFB movement. So what I hope these preachers realize is, is that it matters how you preach, how you respond to criticism and how you communicate on social media because there are Christians out there looking to you as an example and are going to emulate the way you speak, speak and treat others. And this is the problem with the belief that just because you're preaching from a pulpit that you no longer have to speak the truth with love and gentleness. Well, Pastor, as you say from the pulpit, yeah, it's called preaching the Word of God. Colossians 4, 6, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt. Um, speak, the Bible says, speaking the truth in love. The Bible says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Now, am I saying that we all need to start preaching like Joel Osteen? No, but I think there's an obvious difference between passionate, hard preaching and someone who is just preaching in the flesh. And we've all seen it before. And, you know, I've been guilty of it, of this too. So I'm, I'm not saying I've never done it before myself. So why do I think we are seeing this problem in a movement like the new IFB? I think it's because there's been a shift in values where people are, are thinking that a person's level of biblical knowledge is the measure of their spiritual maturity instead of the charity of their character. But the Bible teaches the opposite. Charity and brotherly kindness are much higher levels of spirituality than biblical knowledge. In 2 Peter 1, we read, And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness, look at this, brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness, charity. So you can see there that brotherly kindness and charity are much higher levels. They're, they're, they're much deeper spiritual maturity than just knowledge, which is mentioned much earlier as you're adding things to your faith. Now, what's the danger of knowledge without charity? Well, it tends to make people proud and arrogant. It puffs up. 1 Corinthians 8, 1, now is touching things offered unto idols. We know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth. And I think it would be good for everyone to be reminded that love as opposed to doctrine really should be the hallmark of a spiritual movement. You know, the words of Jesus Christ in John 13, he says, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Now, am I saying that doctrine isn't important? No, of course not. But love should be the characteristic that Christians should be seeking to be known by, not necessarily our doctrinal positions. And you know what I think is going to be the saddest thing about all this is even though someone like Roger Jimenez can clearly see this major problem within the new IFB movement, they still consider it a small problem compared to all the great works that they're accomplishing. But I love this movement and I love the zeal in this movement. I love the soul winning. I love the hard preaching. I love the church planning. I love all of that. But if there's one thing that I can't stand about this movement is that it seems like we have learned 
I mean, we have figured out the patent. We have figured out the magic formula to produce jerks. So I want to end this video by reading a few verses from 1 Corinthians 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing.